Hey everybody, welcome to the Bitten by a Kitten Rescue channel. I am doing a very impromptu video today on intaking a kitten. Why? Because we have a brand new intake. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I go through when I take in a brand new little one like this. So first things first, I usually just take an overlook, look at their fur, make sure there's no funky spots, like spots like ringworm or any fungal dermatitis or anything like that. And this little guy, uh, he does have missing hair, but it doesn't look like it's anything concerning like ringworm. Otherwise I would not have been holding him like I was earlier. Uh, it just looks like he pretty much just was under somewhere and got caught and rubbed his fur off or maybe because it's really hot out here in the area I live in right now, um, he very well could have just lost it because of heat. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh him now to see how much he weighs. And weight will usually give me a pretty good indicator of how old he is. So, all right, he is about a pound and a half, which means that he's probably about maybe a month and a half old. I, looking at him, I would just say he's probably about six weeks old, just from his general size. Next up, oh, hey, next up, I'm going to deworm him and deflea him and then do a vaccine. Now that I've weighed the little guy, I have his meds measured out and I'm going to go ahead and give him his the yucky medication, right? Yuck, 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 yuck. Let's get rid of those wormies in your belly. As for the fleas, he is not yet two months old. So flea treatment like Cheriston or Revolution, you really can't use that on a six week old kitten where it's advised that you don't. So little one is going to get a flea bath a little bit later. I've done a video on that already. So I will have to ha refer you to that video if you want to see how I do that. In the meantime, this little guy's gonna get a quick little poke. Oh, we need a little bit lower. And just a side note with the vaccines, I have been trained by professionals to do this. FERCP is a vaccine that people who are trained to do can are authorized to do. You, you do not have to be a veterinarian to do this. Um, however, rabies is but uh, 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 is, is veterinarian only. Got it, got it, got it. There you go. Good job, baby. Good job. So, little one is vaccinated. Yay, that's number one vaccine. And then that will go and get done three weeks, three to four weeks from today. And then it's off to quarantine for this little wormy one. So that's how I intake a kitten, nothing major just basic, basic stuff. I will be arranging to have a little one seen by a vet to make sure that everything checks out. But if you're not following us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, make sure you do. It's Bitten by a Kitten Rescue on Facebook and Bitten by a Kitten 9 on TikTok and Instagram. 